So to do this, it's pretty simple. You get yourself into the help desk ticket, and then you go to Studio, and then you go to Automations, create a new automated action, make sure you're in debug mode also, then you create your automated action. We'll just call it send email test, model ticket, action to do, action to do, um, and then you will do uh, send email, and then the trigger condition, well, then you'll select your email template. You can create and edit a new one, of course. You know, um, ticket closed, we'll just call this test, and well, it applies to the help desk um, ticket model. Trigger condition is based on a based on creation and update, and then we can say before update, and we'll just say um, you can create this. Is you know for instance we can say um, customer is is set. So for all tickets where the customer is set, uh, we will apply on, and then that's where it'll take all of those into consideration. So. It'll essentially pool everything here, and then of these, which customer equals set, apply the rule of sending the email that equals te email template, apply on, and then you'll say here, you'll change to stage equals or is set in oh no, stage equals, and then you'll select your stage name, and we'll just say something like closed. Save it, and now we'll go like that. Close this. I hope there's a closed stage. Test. Okay, so this now we have to do customer and then we'll say save. It's actually solved, so we have to go, and I'm just gonna go, you can also go to automated actions here and say edit domain is um, is solved. Just like that. So you can see we have one new record where the customer is set. It's already populated. Um, then we'll go to our help desk. There's our ticket, which re was reflected there. And we will move it to the solved stage, which will activate the email. Ticket closed. It's sent three times. I'm not sure why. I think this is just a kind of a screwy database, but you can see it automatically sent that email. Um, I can also go to messages and see help desk ticket, a bunch of emails sent here. Um, I can see all those emails that were sent, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Strange. Let me try that again. But good news is that it sends automatically. So I can say, um, we'll call this um, test two. We'll set our customer, save solved and it still sends it out three times i definitely did something wrong there so i'll have to look into what i set up different if you encounter the same issue then that means that we have a bug in the system that means we have to do some further investigation to get that fixed but um it should it should work for you if you follow the sequence of operations that i just discussed in this video let me know if you have any questions thanks